Hey everyone, you haven't seen me before, but my name is Audrey and today I'm going to be talking to you about chromatography. Just so you know a little something about me, my favorite area of STEM would probably be physics. Feel free to comment down below what your favorite part of STEM is. Now let's get started. Chromatography sounds like a complex term, but it's actually quite simple. Chromatography is just the process of separating a mixture into its different components. Just so everyone is clear on what a mixture is, I'm going to quickly distinguish the difference between an element, compound, and mixture. An element is a substance that is made up of only one type of atom. Everything on the periodic table is an element, like hydrogen, oxygen, and gold. A compound is a substance that is made up of more than one type of atom chemically bonded together. For example, water is a compound because it is made up of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom bonded together. A mixture, which is what we'll be focusing on today, is a combination of two or more elements or compounds, but they are not chemically bonded together. An example of this would be mud, which is a mixture of dirt and water. They are not chemically bonded together, simply mixed. Now that we're clear on what a mixture is, let's look at the definition of chromatography again. Chromatography is the process of separating a mixture into its different components. So taking our example of mud, chromatography would separate it into its components, which are dirt and water. Another example would be separating salt water into salt and water. In today's activity, we'll be using chromatography to separate the color and markers into its different pigments. I won't go into too much detail because I don't want to spoil the experiment, but it's important to know that there's actually a mixture of different colors that make up the one color you see in each marker. If this doesn't make sense to you yet, don't worry. Hopefully by the end of the experiment, you'll understand more about how chromatography works and why it is used in the real world. For this activity, you will need a paper towel, a cup, some water, a few water-based markers, including a black one if you have it, some sort of clip or tape, and scissors. First, take your scissors and cut the paper towel into four or five strips, depending on how many colors you want to perform the experiment with. The strips should be about an inch or two wide. Set the strips to the side. Take your cup and fill it 1 to 2 inches high with water. Then grab your first strip. Draw a line about an inch or two from the bottom using your black marker. If you don't have a black marker, you can use any color you want. Once you've done that, place the strip in the cup so the bottom of it is in the water while your line is about an inch above. Clip or tape the strip to your cup and wait for the paper towel to absorb the water. You may have to wait about 5 minutes for the water to rise, but as it does, you should be observing what happens. Pause the video here while you wait for chromatography to take place. Wasn't that cool? Discuss any changes you noticed to the color on the paper towel. What's happening? Why do you think that is? Hopefully your strip should look something like this. The black color spread upward as the water rose and appeared to turn bluish green at the top. Now, why is that? When chromatography takes place, some color pigments will travel faster and farther when exposed to water, and this creates that spectrum of colors you'll see. Now, repeat the same steps with other colored markers and see what you notice. What colors make up the different markers? What colors traveled further up your paper towel than others? Chromatography is extremely important in the real world. It is used to identify unknown substances, and it can be used to fight crime. If you want an extra challenge, see if you can use chromatography to make art. What different techniques can you come up with? That's it for today. If you enjoyed the activity, comment down below how your experiment went and if you have any questions about chromatography. Click here to watch more STEM Power videos and click here to subscribe. Thanks for watching! Bye!